Do you know about the British explorer, Robert Scott? Do you know where he traveled and what he explored? Let's find out. Robert Scott was an English explorer. He led two famous expeditions to Antarctica. He was born on June 6, 1868, near the town of Devonport in England. He went to school near his home for four years. Then he went to a boarding school. The school prepared boys for the Navy. At the age of 13, he left school and found a job with the Royal Navy. In 1899, when Scott was 31 years old, he took a new job leader of an expedition to Antarctica. Scott's ship came from the city of Dundee in Scotland. The ship was called Discovery. It used both steam and sails. The ship was strong. Antarctica is a place of dangerous ice and snow. 50 men sailed to Antarctica. Sailors, scientists, and explorers. They wanted to learn about the land, the plants, and the wildlife of Antarctica, and they wanted adventure. On August 6, 1901, Discovery left the UK. They traveled for five months, with stops in Cape Town, South Africa, and Littleton Harbor in New Zealand. They reached Antarctica on February 8, 1902. They made a camp with a large hut for their supplies, but they lived on the Discovery. Soon, Discovery was stuck in the snow and ice. But the men stayed with the ship. The weather was very cold and often windy. The men didn't leave the ship often. But Discovery was strong, and it was a good home. The men walked on the ship's deck and worked, studied, ate, and slept in the ship's rooms. Finally, in November 1902, some men left the ship. They wanted to reach the South Pole. It was a very difficult journey. Every day, they walked about 16 kilometers across the snow and ice. But they didn't reach the South Pole. The men returned to their ship. On January 5, 1904, two ships arrived to help them. The men worked together and broke the ice around Discovery. On September 10, 1904, the ship finally arrived in London. Scott was a hero. Scott wanted to return to Antarctica. He wanted to reach the South Pole but a Norwegian explorer named Roald Amundsen got to the South Pole first, in December 1911. Scott reached the South Pole in January 1912, but died in the snow on the return journey. Robert Scott was a great explorer. He loved adventure and became famous for his life of discovery.